After the Chicxulub impact, the spherules settled on the sea floor within minutes. These were the spherules just discovered by Dr. Keller. On top of the spherules, there seemed to have been a period of normal sedimentation. Eight meters of mud had built up. According to Keller and Stinnersbeck, this would have taken 270,000 years. Next came the limestone layer. This too could have taken thousands of years to form. Only then came the sand, washed in to form the sandstone. Then those fine-grained layers built up by sedimentation. That could have taken centuries. Then worms apparently had months, maybe years, in which to colonize some of the layers. And only then, at the very top, came the iridium layer which coincided with the extinction of the dinosaurs. But by now, Keller and Stinnesbeck calculated that 300,000 years had passed since the Chicxulub impact. The iridium must have come from an asteroid, uh, but it must have been a second impact, 300,000 years later, for which we simply don't know where the crater is. And it is that impact that probably finished off the dinosaurs. If Keller was right, there hadn't been one impact, but two. The first, Chicxulub, would have been devastating enough. It would have killed many dinosaurs, but it did not drive them to extinction and it didn't create the iridium layer. According to Keller and Stinnesbeck, even as Earth absorbed the Chicxulub impact, deep in outer space, a second asteroid was hurtling towards the planet. And this was the asteroid that left the telltale iridium and finished off the dinosaurs.